Hey anyone, how's it going? Welcome to Bite Size Reactions, where today we're watching Lucifer Season 6, Episode 6. A lot happened last episode, and honestly, I'm just really excited to see what will happen next. I really don't have much to say, let's just get into it. Honestly, this cop thing is not something I would ever would have predicted. Excuse me. Uh, Dan. I mean, this is really not a good time to mess with him. I know. I just really love your grounding, by the way. It's like I can't touch something. However, I can sit in a car. Thanks, but I don't need it. Oh my gosh! Stop! Oh, hurts. This, 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 uh, I always think about how it looks to someone who isn't paying attention, and it's not. Uh, you're Dan, please, you're the greatest source of this kind of cringe in the show. I know, but can you just wait until they're alone, please? And sent to central Idaho. You are avoiding spending time with Rory. And how she's feeling. Thank you. That's what May said. That is odd. <laughs> <laughs> Rory feels abandoned. Yes. Oh, that's great. I'm not sure I have the right to be there for all of the birthdays and Christmases that you missed. Yeah, the legends Rory Birthday. did that, and that was case, didn't work out right. Future. It's not really time travel. Yeah. Never thought I'd see it in Lucifer, but here we are. What if? No. I could. No. What? Mm -hmm. She's at science camp for the summer. Thank you. Very convenient. Please return for the season five. <coughs> okay, thank you. My thing tea hides us chocolate. There you go. Oh, right, so love fresh it. Towel. The only reason that Lucifer thought, you know, that you killed him. Thank you for being honest. That was my fault. I know you're sad, Amenadiel, but you really got to get used to this. This is the worst part of the job right here. Mm -hmm. It's her. But more importantly. It's him. I said you this isn't going to be easy. Bow wop ba bow wop wop ba bow wow. That's a twist. That's not going to be great. That's a lot of staring I'm going to deal. Well, I mean, he did almost shoot you, so. Uh, I really hope this is about that guy being fired. That would be great. Let's keep it to the living room. Or maybe the Easter Bunny came in through that window. Fudge off, fool. For a fuzzy dude to teach proper procedure and Ryman wasn't following it. Yes. Good job, I'm going It'll do more good in the long run if you don't blow shit up on your first damn day. <sighs> See, this is always what was going to happen when Amenadiel did this. He's imagining some Puritan super role, and that was never going to happen. Oh, you mean like a Holy Spirit? No. Ella, just stop. Like a roommate. I am here for you, pal. It's not going to work. Honestly, you should just go to Lucifer. What are you doing? He is never <laughs> oh, Lucifer, what have you done? Oh, Lucifer. There's a choir. That's not gonna work, Lucy. Let it go. Lucifer. Oh, I know you're trying, but it's not gonna work. Why don't we see what else there is? It's cute that he's trying, but this is... You need to focus on the future. Future. I love whenever saying the, her pop up. I don't remember her name, but... Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry. Ghost Dan is having some fun right now. Even though it's kind of cringy. 
really here so I could help you. You still can. You are a ghost. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, God. Lucifer, this is great. wondering how the driving lesson with Trixie went. This is kind of like subtle karma after that freak out with Chloe so many years ago at this point. Trying to outrun that plane. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh my god, he did the threatening dad thing. Hey! <laughs> Chloe's dad was a cop, so she's legacy. And also there's, what is it about Chloe? Oh, right, she's white. <sighs> fudge. Yes. I hate this so much. I turned him into... How tough this job is. Okay, Sometimes redeemed him too. In the middle of it. <sighs> I'm wrong again. Fear can get the best of you. Anyway, thanks again, rookie. I thought, never mind. I walked I back my it. apology. I thought... Okay, maybe he's okay, but fudge that. They did exactly what I thought of they, I, they would and turn it on her. Fudge you. Maze and Linda gave you the same advice. That's odd. <laughs> yeah, again, right? It's weird. So much so that they must be onto something, right? Since oh, Lucy, you're going to mess this up, aren't you? How to. Lucifer? Oh my gosh, Lucifer, what are you doing? Ah, uh, man, he was almost on the right track. Oh, what, are you, what is this? This hurts so much. Lori, can you just open your mouth and, you know, talk instead of being quiet? That'll be really helpful. Lucifer, what are you doing? Oh, it's showtime. More songs. Oh, I do enjoy his performances, but really, Lucifer. Thank you, Maze. Seriously, you're trying so hard. There's no way you can make up for it at least she's opening up thank you maze it's really nice seeing maze be like a supportive person like this she's been so overly antagonistic so many times that it just hurts me it's a lot of harsh realities about this that you have to face a minute deal. <sighs> Had all these thoughts about all these things that they would face. And every day and they're actually doing it. It's crazy. Of why they should be. I'm kind of the kid who gets picked last for dodgeball around here. But he has no clue what that means. I don't know what dodgeball is, so. <sighs> really wish you could angel up a little bit, I'm gonna deal. Actually, no, I'm gonna deal. Really hope you have your, at least, your super strength and stuff, because that's proven very helpful to Lucifer, so please. <sighs> you don't need a bulletproof vest when you're bulletproof, huh? Oh. I just realized this scene is supposed to be tense. And like, I completely forgot that, right? There could be someone in here, but like I said, he's bulletproof, so. You can trust us. I'm really worried about the other detective, though. Please just be nice this episode. Shot. A meta deal. Move. This isn't the time. You are bulletproof. No. No! On the ground now! Me? 
No. No. What are you doing? Fudge off. Come on. Fudge off. Thank you. Arsehole. As hard as it is, you're the only one doing it. And this isn't the type of show where you could go vigilante. Oh, yes. Duet time. What's with the staring? That makes me feel far more concerned than it should. Oh, yes. This is the duet. Oh, that father-daughter duet was beautiful, and I loved the song. Uh, this show just really loves using the music, right? Music is always that connective tissue, right? More than anything else, music is so helpful. And that was episode six, a lot dirtier than that. Now, this was definitely a heavy episode. Yes, we had the lighter moments of Lucifer, you know, trying to bond with Rory, but, you know, a menadeal story with the reality of the police force is the biggest thing this episode. And I hate to say, at least in the U.S., I don't know, right? It's that's it's what I was thinking. Even when he first said he was going to become a cop, right? The show hasn't dealt with it too much, right? But still, he came here to be the guardian of peace, making the world a better place. And it's like, the world ain't so nice like that. I mean, deal. you're going to struggle a lot. This episode showed it very well. Now, there were some knowing glances at the end there, right? Amenadiel staring and Chloe staring. And it's like, okay, what do those mean? Usually when you focus on someone like that, that's like a something important is going to happen? I don't know. Normally, my gut feeling would say that Amenadiel would leave the police force, but that doesn't exactly make sense to me. But... Chloe coming back. No, that does. Right? Her leaving the detective position was one of the weirdest things to happen when she got together with Lucifer. This idea that, you know what, hey, I'm going to leave my job that I am meant to do to go consult? I mean, have they even said what she'd be doing up there? Consult? And if she does go back to being doing the detective work, that ending where Lucifer has to leave Solo to be God only becomes that much more realistic. More depressing episode than any so far. So I'm going to take two minutes to kind of decompress, then move on, because it looks like May's and Eve's wedding is going to be next. Watch that reaction over here. Over here is a playlist of all my videos, and on my face is the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe, criticize even. I don't mind. See ya.